Hey guys, it's Kevin from hailgraphics.com. Hope you're having a great day. Today I am doing a subscriber request. Uh, this is for the Fortnite skin Heartstopper. Um, I don't know too much background on this skin other than she looks like she might be some sort of a ninja. Uh, with uh, It looks like a katana, but I'm not sure. It seems shorter than a standard katana. So she's got some sort of blade she carries in her back bling. So I'm gonna start out uh, where I'm comfortable and I'm mostly just doing the line art for her eyes right now, or at least one of her eye, because her hair kind of hangs over her face on one side. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start the hair and get the general shape of her head going before I do the other eye. Starting a little bit of her mask and just keep adding layers until it looks about the right size for the head. Just got these little details on her mask. And let's go ahead and get that other eye and eyebrow done. A few little shadows on the nose. And I'll start getting the pose done. I'm going to have her uh, doing sort of an emote. Didn't really try to get an official emote, but uh, you know how it is when the Fortnite characters throw a symbol up in the air. Uh, one of those type of emotes versus a dance. When I started drawing her outfit, I really didn't realize it was going to be so much line art uh, from the details. There's a few parts I simplified, but for the most part, I tried to draw all the little lines and uh, creases and seams that I could. I think because of all the little details, I spent the majority of this drawing just getting the line art done. Have that hand opened up, throwing up the emote. Put the wrapping on the, her sword and Being that her name's Heartstopper, the emote that I thought would be appropriate is sort of a broken heart, but uh, I don't know, maybe there was a better one to use. What do you think? And I sort of skipped recording um, part of her belt, kind of her uh, belt buckle. Um, There's just so many little details I had to work out that I didn't want to have the whole drawing spent showing me uh, putting that together. And we'll start getting all the base colors in, just basically a dark red. And I'm going with a light gray for now so I can see the seams, but technically all that gray you see is supposed to be black. And now I'm popping it into Photoshop and I'm just gonna start shading everything, getting all the major areas, uh, get some of the shadows in there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and blur them to smooth them out a bit, save myself a little bit of time on the drawing. Getting a few highlights and there we go with the first round of blurring. And I'm gonna kind of layer again, darkening certain areas and blur those out. I'll 
and now really focus on all the little highlights. And with her particular outfit, how it looked really smooth, this has um, saved me a lot of time just kind of re-blurring everything and then going back and adding little details of uh, darker gray and black at the seams and then highlighting it as you see that on her stomach or added a little bit of light gray to emphasize uh, that, you know, there's an actual seam with an indentation in it. And on her hair, it's just a series of darker pinks and light pinks, and then uh, a little bit of white for some of the reflection. Make that wrapping a little bit more convincing on the sword, do some shading there. And then I ended up, it went by pretty quick, but I actually um, faded out the reflections on her hair so they didn't look too plasticky. I kind of went over this mask a few times before I liked the shading on it, just kind of battling with it a bit. And now get some darker shadows around her neck, get those, you know, shadows on her face, kind of go back and forth until it looks dark enough to me. And put a little makeup on the top of her eyes, eyeshadow, I guess. And we'll shade the eyeballs themselves and now start to add color to the eyes and emphasize the reflections. And almost there, we just gotta finish up this heart, get that a little bit more 3D looking. And for the final picture, I made a quick background of Frosty Flights because that was one of my favorite areas in the, uh, the first island. If you have a favorite drop spot, let me know in the comments. So overall, let me know what you think. How'd she come out? If you have other characters you want to request, go ahead and do that. I'm always happy to receive requests. If I still have a few more. I have, uh, let's see, I have one for Munitions Expert. Um, that one comes to mind. I know there's some others I've written down. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed, consider doing that. Um, um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will be back next week with another speed draw. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.